Movie making is complicated, and even right up until the end of the editing process, a potential different ending to a film can be up for grabs, at least until a final decision is committed. And that always leaves you wondering, how was this movie almost completely different? With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 alternate endings to 2020 movies you almost saw. Spoilers ahead, obviously. Let's get going. 10. John Hamm's Mr. Sinister Arrives, The New Mutants The New Mutants was undeniably one of 2020's most troubled releases, spending almost three years in production limbo before finally hitting cinemas last summer. Yet in March of 2018, just six months after the film wrapped, reports emerged that a planned post credit scene had been scrapped, which would have introduced the antagonist Mr. Sinister, as played by John Hamm. However, the Disney-Fox merger meant that none of the planned reshoots, including this cameo ever took place, and so the film was eventually released with no post credit scenes or A-lister cameos to speak of. As perfect casting as Ham might have been for Nathaniel Essex, given that the new mutants was the death knell for Fox's X-Men continuity, it's just as well the movie didn't offer up something that would have never been followed up on. 9. Nora Escapes Underwater Lovecraftian sci-fi horror film Underwater concludes with protagonist Nora Price laying down her life so that her teammates, Smith and Havisham, can evacuate the underwater drilling facility using the two working escape pods. A very pissed off Cthulhu isn't happy about this, and so Price takes drastic action to prevent the legendary sea monster from foiling their escape. She overloads the station's nuclear core, causing a huge explosion which kills her along with Cthulhu and its spawn. Yet the film's home video release features an alternate, altogether cheerier ending in which Nora manages to press a few buttons and get the third damaged escape pod working, allowing her to escape too before the blast detonates. It's nice to have a happy ending, but ultimately the original is definitely superior. 8. Bill and Ted Fail to Save the World Bill and Ted Face the Music Bill and Ted Face the Music ends with a rather predictable revelation that the task of saving the world has actually been left to Bill and Ted's daughters, Billy and Thea, who, with the help of their fathers, must unite the entire universe in song to prevent time and space from collapsing. Yet, considering that the film was in development hell for around a decade, it's little surprise that the script and its ending went through numerous drafts over the years. Co-writer Ed Solomon confirmed that a dark and more abrupt ending was actually featured in a 2010 draft, where Bill and Ted only realized their daughters were the key in the final seconds of the movie. He said, The whole movie happens like it happens. They go into the future, their lives get worse and worse, and they arrive at the Rose Bowl and it's empty. There's no instruments there. It didn't happen. They failed. And then they go home and they sit down in their living room, and you're like one minute from the end of the movie. And they realize that they failed. They feel like they failed. And then they hear music coming from the other room, and they walk in and they look and see their kids and realize it was never them and then the movie's over. That was the first ending we had and Alex and Keanu were like, I think correctly, like, ugh, that's sort of a bummer. 7. Isabel Kills Herself – Bad Boys for Life Bad Boys for Life's final showdown ends with the villainous Isabel being shot by Mike's cop ex-girlfriend Rita and falling into the fiery palace lobby below. However, it was confirmed that a grimmer iteration of this ending was originally on the cards, with Isabel actually jumping into the fire voluntarily after accidentally shooting her son Armando and believing herself to have killed him. Furthermore, she tries to take Mike, who is Armando's father, with her. It certainly would have added some dishy drama to an already intense finale, and given the film's rating probably wouldn't have felt especially out of place. 6. There's an actual villain. Onward. The first of Pixar's two movies released this year, Onward, doesn't actually have a villain in the traditional sense, instead focused strictly on two elven brothers, Ian and Barley Lightfoot, taking a supernatural road trip in order to temporarily bring their dead father back to life. But the story's supervisor, Kelsey Mann, explained that Onward went through elaborate rewrites before the team settled on a vision of the film's third act, resulting in a more typical villain character being jettisoned from the movie entirely. Originally, they had had more traditional antagonistic forces the brothers would have to face down, but it just served to complicate the story beyond the point where it made more sense to lose them entirely. 5. Tyler Dies Extraction 
The Russo brothers' pet project extraction ends with protagonist Tyler getting young Ovi to safety, but at great physical cost. A badly wounded Tyler is then shot and falls into the river, before the final scene flashes forward eight months, where an out-of-focus figure resembling Tyler watches Ovi taking a swim. But director Sam Hargrave actually had a far more concrete ending in mind, which appeared in Joe Russo's original script, where Tyler did not survive. His story ended with a willing sacrifice to save the child. However, Hargrave ultimately relented due to test screenings dividing audiences, leading him to shoot a more ambiguous ending, which also left the door open for sequels. 4. There's No Dragon Colonoscopy, Doolittle The Robert Downey Jr. starring Doolittle reimagining was undoubtedly one of 2020's most misguided projects, never more so than during its infamous final sequence where Doolittle faces off against Ginkgo Who Soars, an angry dragon guarding the tree which can cure the poisoned queen. Doolittle ends up quelling the dragon's temper by clearing up a blockage in its colon, removing a pair of bagpipes and a suit of armor from the offending orifice. But the Hollywood Reporter's incredible post-mortem on the movie makes it clear that the ending was heavily tinkered with during post-production. As a matter of fact, the ending originally didn't feature the dragon colonoscopy at all, but focused on a familial threat pegged to the death of Doolittle's wife. Apparently, it was none other than Downey Jr. himself, who also produced the film, that came up with the infamous dragon proctology exam in the closing stages of reshoots. Oof. 3. Ray Drowns Dalton Bloodshot. The Vin Diesel starring superhero dud Bloodshot wraps up with Ray Garrickson, aka Bloodshot, fighting soldier Timmy Dalton. In the final version of the film, their climactic battle is a CGI slathered mess as the pair fight while falling down the elevator shaft of the RST building. In the end, Ray gets the better of Dalton, ripping off his robotic suit and mechanical arms and hurling him down the shaft to his death. But the original ending was far more subdued, with Ray and Dalton both surviving the fall to the ground and concluding their fight in a swimming pool. Though Dalton lands some solid blows on Ray, this only works in Ray's favor, as some of Ray's nanite-infused blood drips into the pool, at which point it attacks Dalton's robotic legs, quickly breaking them to pieces. All Ray then has to do is shove Dalton into the deep end of the pool, and he's totally helpless and drowns. Though not nearly as bombastic as the final battle, this definitely feels like a case where less would have been more. 2. Joe Stays Dead – Soul Pixar's recently released Soul follows the quest of jazz pianist Joe Gardner to reunite his soul with his body after falling down a manhole, causing his soul to end up in the great beyond. The film ends in crowd-pleasing fashion, with Joe's soul being returned to his body on Earth, giving him a second chance to take full advantage of everything life has to offer. But, as is typical for Pixar, the ending was heavily workshopped, with numerous different climaxes being proposed. Among them was an especially upsetting ending, where Joe never gets a chance to return to Earth after learning to better appreciate life, instead venturing on to the great beyond. It certainly would have been poignant, but also incredibly sad. And considering how well the film has performed both critically and with audiences, they made the right choice. 1. Cassie Lives – Promising Young Woman Promising Young Woman was one of 2020's most provocative films, and for damn good reason. It follows Cassie Thomas, a woman who plans to avenge her best friend Nina, who committed suicide after being raped by a man named Alexander Monroe. When Alexander is getting married, Cassie heads to his bachelor party while posing as a stripper, and after taking him upstairs and handcuffing him to the bed, prepares to mete out violent revenge. However, Alexander manages to get the better of Cassie in the scuffle, and ends up suffocating her with a pillow, with a friend helping him burn Cassie's corpse the next morning. Though it first appears that Alexander gets away with it, the film's final moments reveal that Cassie set a contingency plan in place in case something went wrong, leading to Alexander being arrested at his own wedding. But writer-director Emerald Fennell agonized over the ending in the scripting stage, writing numerous endings which ultimately weren't used. In one case, the film ended with Alexander burning Cassie's body, and just straight up getting away with it. Another proposed ending saw Cassie simply murder all the men at the bachelor party, as a big F.U. cathartic ending, but Fennel felt it wasn't honest to the reality of a woman fighting a cabin full of drunk men. But a draft of the script which found its way online reveals a more crowd-pleasing finale, in which Cassie carves Nina's name into Alexander's chest, cuts off his penis, and then leaves with her life very much intact. But again, Fennel felt this wasn't an honest representation of the situation. Still, it sure would have been satisfying.
And there you have it folks, 10 alternate endings to 2020 movies you almost saw. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at you slide I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.